Gaming Bull presents 10 Things You Should Avoid Doing in No Man's Sky No Man's Sky is finally out, and millions of players worldwide are now exploring an entirely new universe full of exotic sights and alien life to discover, and appreciating the glory of deep space. However, as fun as No Man's Sky is, and as inviting as it can be to the average player, there are several things that players should definitely and decidedly not do while playing it. Doing so is just basically inviting disaster and throwing a wrench into your plans to explore the universe around you. What are these things? We're glad you asked, because we have a list ready. And if you're playing No Man's Sky, make sure to avoid doing the following things, and you should have generally unimpeded progress as you explore the massive universe you find yourself in. Don't mine or engage with local wildlife too aggressively. Planets and moons with life on them in No Man's Sky are actually defended by sentinel drones. And if you attempt to mine and harvest resources too much, disturbing the planet's natural balance, or if you attack the local wildlife too much, you're going to attract their attention. And they will definitely not be happy with you. By which we mean they'll attack you until they kill you, or you kill them first. It can be stressful, especially early on in the game, and it's unnecessary to deal with them at all. It's best to just be moderate in how you mine resources or deal with the local wildlife. Don't let drones that spot you get away. Now, we said it's unnecessary to deal with them at all, but continuing on from the previous point, do you remember that once a drone does spot you, it will call for reinforcements if it thinks you're too much trouble. So if it spots you, don't let it get away. Attack it and get it down quick, before it has a chance to call for more help. Don't make choices thoughtlessly. One of the things added to No Man's Sky via the Day 1 patch is a brand new choice that the game asks the player to make just a few minutes into the game. They encounter a presence in some wreckage, which turns out to be some kind of guidance that Atlas provides, and they are asked to either accept that help or turn it down and do their own thing. This is similar to a lot of choices players are asked to make when they interact with the alien monoliths that litter the planets throughout the galaxy. You're free to choose what you want, of course, but be very careful with the choice you make. Apparently, these choices can completely change and determine the flow of the game for you from then on, as well as change which of the game's endings are available to you, so you might want to think before you act. Don't be a loot whore. Even though No Man's Sky is basically all about resource collection, you should try not to indulge your kleptomania too much. You see, you have limited inventory space and at some point you'll have collected so much carbon and zinc that you have no more space to carry other resources that are actually necessary and important. Collecting too many resources also means you are probably very aggressive in trying to mine and harvest nodes or engaging with wildlife which, whoops, means you now have some drones after you. Given all that, and given just how easily most resources can be found in the wild, it's best to not pick up anything that you absolutely don't need and focus only on the stuff that you actually do. Don't avoid asteroids. This might sound counterintuitive, but there is a method to the madness. You see, asteroids carry resources such as iron and zinc, as well as thamium G, which is the fuel source for the pulse drive in your ship. Your best advice is to attack asteroids with your photon charge, which allows you to collect those resources from them. If nothing else, it means you can always keep your pulse drive fueled up. Don't invest too much money into upgrading your starting equipment. No Man's Sky lets you upgrade all the equipment you have on you at the beginning of the game, including your ship itself, but you really shouldn't. Don't get us wrong, upgrading some of it so that you aren't laughably helpless in the midst of a battle isn't a bad idea, but in general you should look at replacing your equipment with newer, better stuff, either by finding it in the wild or by purchasing it from trading outposts. Don't use the jetpack indiscriminately. No Man's Sky features falling damage, which you can probably avoid in the course of normally playing the game. Just, you know, don't walk off a cliff. But at the same time, the addition of the jetpack probably complicates things. You see, the jetpack lets you jump high, which is great, but it also comes with a very short charge that it must then spend a fair few seconds recharging. If you jetpack too indiscriminately and without paying attention, then you'll almost certainly find yourself falling from a great height without any fuel in your jetpack to help break your fall, meaning you fall from a great height and take a fair bit of damage. When you're already in hostile worlds, where potentially everything is trying to kill you, the last thing you need to do is make it easier for them. Don't be stupid, and be careful with how you use the jetpack. Don't let your mining tool overheat. On a similar note, you should also not let your mining tool overheat. You use your mining tool to, well, mine, but you also use it to ward off hostiles such as aggressive wildlife or sentinel drones. Using the mining tool too much without any break causes it to overheat, which sucks because then you can't use it while it cools down. It's only a few seconds, but when you're surrounded by drones all attacking you, those few seconds can be all the difference between life and death. So generally, take care that you're not abusing that mining tool too much. Don't try to shoot sentinel starships. Maybe later on in the game you get a stronger starship that can take these on. We actually don't know that yet to be honest, but absolutely no ship that you gain access to at first is capable of taking these on. The good thing is, they generally leave you alone. Unless you be stupid and shoot at them first, which, yeah, don't do that. They'll then be after you and that would suck. At the very least, they'll disable your pulse drive. Don't be afraid to explore. All these don'ts are probably freaking you out, especially in the absence of things that you should be doing. And they probably make you nervous about spending any time going off the beaten path at all. That's not what we're trying to get at at all. 
No Man's Sky is a game about the joys of exploration. If you're only sticking to a straight line path without taking the time out to explore your surroundings, whether on the surface of a planet or out in deep space, then you're really missing the point of the game. So absolutely explore, follow something pretty, come upon something new, that's really what No Man's Sky is about. In the worst case that'll happen, you'll die. But hey, No Man's Sky is a video game, death is never permanent, and you'll even get to recover your old inventory as it was at the time of your death. So go nuts and have fun. Like this video? Why not give us a like and subscribe? We try and upload amazing videos almost every single day. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.